When your Superbox S6 Max won't turn on or display anything on screen, we need to systematically check the power and display connections. Let's start with the most common issues. First, check your power connection. Ensure the power cord is securely plugged into both the Superbox and wall outlet. Try bypassing any surge protectors by plugging directly into the wall. Test different outlets and if available, try a different power adapter. Here's your Superbox S6 Max showing the key connection ports. The HDMI port connects to your TV while the power port connects to your power adapter. Make sure both connections are secure. Next, inspect your HDMI connection. Make sure the HDMI cable is firmly connected to both the Superbox and your TV. Try different HDMI ports on your TV and test with a different HDMI cable if available. Don't forget to select the correct input on your TV. Use your TV remote to press the input or source button, then select the HDMI port where your Superbox is connected. This is often labeled as HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and so on. If the previous steps don't resolve the issue, try connecting your Superbox to a different TV. This helps determine whether the problem is with the Superbox itself or with your original TV setup. If your Superbox still doesn't work after trying all these troubleshooting steps, the issue may be internal hardware failure. Contact Superbox support or your seller for repair or replacement options. When your Superbox S6 Max won't start properly or get stuck during boot, there are several reset methods you can try to resolve these issues. First, let's identify the problem. If your Superbox is stuck in a boot loop or not starting correctly, you'll see it repeatedly trying to start without success. The first method to try is a soft reset. Unplug your Superbox from the power outlet, wait exactly five minutes to allow any residual power to drain, then plug it back in and try to power it on. If the soft reset doesn't work, try a factory reset using your remote control. Point the remote at your Superbox and press the period button and triple zero buttons five times in a row to trigger the factory reset menu. If your Superbox boots up but is unstable, you can perform a factory reset through the settings menu. Navigate to the gear icon for settings, then device preferences, and finally select reset. For Superbox S2 Pro models that won't boot with the remote, you can use a USB drive to update the firmware. This method requires downloading the appropriate firmware file to a USB drive. If your Superbox continues to have boot loop issues after trying all these reset methods, it's time to contact Superbox customer support for further assistance. Remember to try these methods in order for the best results.